Women in STEM in general is something that we have good support for from government and industry. And we are working hard on recruiting uh, women in our engineering programs. I am so excited to be part of this emerging trend of women in engineering. And I know that it's something that the government and even the school is really working towards. And we're working on a program with Engineers Canada called 30 by 30, where we are trying to grow the number of female graduates in engineering to 30% by 2030. Uh, TRU, Software Engineering Program, is a proud uh, partnership, uh, partner of that program as well. We have, uh, we have a local liaison uh, within that program, and the objective of that program is to promote uh, having more women in the enduring, enduring education. And I think that that is just an incredible goal to strive for. And while it is challenging, there are all of these kind of systems in place and people really want to see this succeed. We're working hard on that by doing things like workshops, trying to get more scholarships for females, uh, and making engineering a more exciting career for them, making sure that they are aware that engineering is going to be a great career for women. It's always really positive to see and hear the feedback from different women that are coming into engineering, the girls from the high schools or different tech camps. The feedback is great seeing that these girls are very excited that they have this, these people to look up to, that they have something that proves to them that it can be done and that they can do it. I believe everyone's capable of doing it if they have the right support and the right amount of determination and work ethic. To any young girls that are contemplating their future, they should just know that they can do whatever they set their mind to. They don't need to know everything right away. They can be like me and not even understand computers and then end up in software engineering. And it's possible. And they can work to you know, shatter that glass ceiling or accomplish anything that they want. If it's business, if it's engineering, if it's science, if it's following math, if it's going into arts, that they can do all of that and that anything is possible. And just because you don't have you know, maybe the foundation or you didn't take the courses that you think you should have in high school to take a certain career path. It doesn't mean that you can't do it and you can still go and accomplish that.